Yo, this your old tight, and I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. Be a four tight, uh, fucking nine to five. We'd rather beat the block. Face card. All right, so we got the one and only tight jumbled up back off the porch with us for the second time, man. What's going on? What's going on? Man, welcome back, bro. Appreciate you for having me, man. Yeah, no problem, man. Now you got the new project going crazy. This is a perfect time for you to come back, too. Yeah, man. for sure, for sure. Yeah, man. So first off, how you feeling today, man? man? I feel good, amazing, man. Blessed, turned up, you know what I'm saying? Just happy to be here. Yeah. And you doing anything else while you're here in Atlanta or are you in and out with it today, man? I just in and out. Got a couple of interviews and I got to head down to Tampa tomorrow, so I'm in okay. and out. Yeah, you got the release party down there, right? Yup, yup, yup. Okay. We already know you're going to bring that energy and all that, too. Nah, man. fast. We finna go crazy, man. We on the floor with that shit. <laughs> like, we, we finna go crazy, man. For real, for real. Yeah, man. So, man, let's go ahead and just dive into this project, man. Let's so, go. Coach of Florida. Uh, first off, just break down that title. Why you decide, man, I'm the coach of Florida for this one, man. Man, I just feel like, and, it's, and <clears throat> I want to break this across, it ain't no ego thing. You know what I'm saying? It's more so I'm up in age and I, I know what really going on down there. You feel me? So I just feel like, man, especially it's, it's more so for the younger crowd. You feel me? Like, that aunt word played out with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired of being called aunt. You know that shit make me feel old. Wait, have you hit unk status already? Yeah, and I ain't even Shoot. old. That's you what I'm going to say. I don't, I, didn't, I don't see you as an old guy. But it's just how I carry myself and how I move. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like, like I say at the end of the day, a coach don't get his flowers until the end. Like, all the players turn up, everybody turn up. You see the coach get his flowers with you. He dead and gone or he done retired. You know what I'm saying? And growing up, I was, I was cool with that. Like, whether it's giving game to somebody or helping somebody, I ain't never want the credit. I ain't never want the your spotlight, your spotlight, what I do, what I do. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, at the end of the day, it's just the culture of Florida, man. Like, I feel like if you're an artist from out of town or anybody from down the town, I'm one of the ones that you can tap into. Yeah. And, bro, I, I, I got this going on. Come holler at me. I got this going on. Like, what, what parts I need to stay away from? I can, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Orchestrate a nigga like, bro, like, you good over here, but you ain't good over here. And it's not necessarily saying like, you got to tap in type shit. Like a coach is approachable though. A lot of people don't understand that like a coach is a person that's approachable. You feel what I'm saying? Unless there's other circumstances going on about it. But yeah. that's pretty much what it is on the tape, man. I'm just giving you that real Florida shit, real yeah. cut and unroll, man. Yeah. So why not coach in Tallahassee? Why we go all the way to Florida with I'm this? I'm Florida, like? man. Like from the top to the bottom, somebody knew me. You know what I'm saying? And I represent this shit daily. Like I wear this shit. You know what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't on a nigga. It's in a nigga. You feel me? So like I said, I just represent Florida as, as a all. Like even when it comes down to football teams or sports, like I don't give a fuck. If it's out of Florida, that's me. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I look at it. I dig it, man. And this is your first project since 2020? Is yeah, that right? Yeah, since 2020. Man, that, that's a long time to rapper facts. years. You know that. Facts, so facts. Why the delay or, you know, why, why why didn't we see a project before that? Um, well, my previous situation, you know, I was at the majors, um, you know, a couple, um, two, two, two major labels, actually. But I kind of got signed at Fucked Up Times. Like, I, like, when I got signed in my last situation, it was during COVID. Yeah. That was the 2020 situation with the, my last project. So it was like coming off of that, man, it was like, man, it, it was like I had to rebuild again. You know what I'm saying? Like climbing the shit totally changed after COVID came mm -hmm. about. You know what I'm saying? So I just had to rebuild, drop a couple singles, built my platform. And this time I went about it a little differently. I showed my personality along with the shit. So they actually got to grow with me as a person and as a music artist, you uh -huh. feel what I'm saying? So now when I draw, it ain't really been too much of, we gotta do this, we gotta hurry up and do this, we gotta hurry up and do this. Like the hard part was already done because I got the support there. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? I feel like too, that's why a lot of artists is missing out on coming into the game. Like they ain't really got no support. It's like, we don't even know who you is, you know what I'm saying, type mm -hmm. shit. So, like I said, that's what that's pretty much what took so long, just getting everything right. And I want to come with the first one. Like, I got, ha I had to smack them off across their face. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? So, and I think I did that though. I yeah. really think I did that. So, what do your fans mean to you? The ones that've been riding to die with you for these past four years, waiting on this shit to drop? For oh, you. we family. We locked in, and it's crazy because I know the ones. You know what I'm saying? That been here, and it's, it's hundreds of them, but. 
I know their face or I know the, the username or I know certain words that they say, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I really lock in with my supporters and I hate that word fans too. Like, I don't like to use the word fans. Like, it's either family or you a supporter. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's it's on this side of the, of the tracks, it's like, man, we locked in. Like, I actually listen to them. Y'all fucking with this? I'm gonna drop that shit. Yeah. Y'all ain't, boy, you need to take your ass back to the whoop the whoop. <laughs> I am going back to the drum board with it. And that's how I've been moving, you know, moving about with this shit. And like I say, I got that support system. They'll let me know if something ain't right. And they'll let me know, like, boy, you heading in the right direction. So yeah. shout out to my fans, man. Man, no, fuck that. I was about my to say, come on, you can't go yeah, fans yeah. after hey, that. You got me saying this shit. <laughs> shout out, shout out to my supporters, man, for sure. I dig it, man. What would you say were like some of the biggest things you learned while being on the major that you can now apply, you know, being independent once again? Oh man, um, working a record. I think that's like the biggest thing that, that, that uh, I learned from being, being in the majors is how to stretch a record. Like you got some people, and that's crazy thing, like four years only dropped seven songs. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's like, but to the people, they like, what? Like when I put that number in, they, they be like, man, it sounds like you done dropped by couple of projects or you know what I'm saying, woo the woo, but I only dropped seven songs, but I learned how to market a rucker the proper way. Even like I say, I ain't got the funds of a major, but the 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 structure, you feel me what I'm saying? The blueprint of it, like I know it. Like, okay, you only can show a video so many times. You only can show this type of content so many times. You only can do this thing right here so many times. So I started learning it, okay, let's break it down. This week we do this with this record. This week we do this with this record. This week we do with this with this record. But each week, it look like something different. It's a new verse I'm introducing. It's a new gimmick that I'm introducing. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, I think that's like the biggest thing that I learned from the majors. Other than the business, that's like the biggest thing that I learned from the majors of how to really work a record, how to really get it in front of this, get exposure to it. No, I dig that because I see a lot of, you know, new independent artists. They'll go ahead, they'll drop a video, they'll post it one time, and, and it. next week they posting some other shit. <laughs> they it. don't even work it. Facts, facts, facts. But not knowing, like, shit, this could be the record that take you out of there. Nah, right? And it take you good, what, six to 18 months, they yeah. say, yeah. to really push a record for it to reach its full potential, too. Facts, right? facts. Yeah. So, Coach of Florida, man. Coach of Florida. How long did we work on this? Is this something you kind of put together recently, or is this songs you had been sitting on, just waiting for the album, or what? I mean, it's been songs over time. Like, I say at least shit since about 2022. Okay. Yeah, it's been, it, it just, they just been swapping in and out. Like, <laughs> one minute it'll be this record, take it off. Like, it's a couple of records that didn't even make the project. It's a lot of records, actually, that didn't make the project. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, it's, I don't know, it's just one of them things where it grew with me. As I grew, it grew, and I think, I think it really got finalized like in the final week. Like, that's when we was like, okay, these are records we going with, <laughs> and we turned it in. And that's the thing I love about my situation, man, that like everybody hands on and I'm a priority over there. I didn't got to go hound. If anything, they trying to find my ass, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's if anything, but I love it over there. Like, I go hard, they go hard, like our energies match. So, like I said, at the end of the day, it was a group effort, though, but this is me. Like, yeah. this ain't no other nigga, this ain't no other story being spoken. Like, what you hear on that project, that's me. You feel me? Through and through. Yeah. And you still with Slip and Slide, right? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And I don't know if my boy Manny asked you during the first interview, but Slip and Slide is a legendary Florida label, man. Yeah. So how did that feel for you to be able to partner up with them? I felt good, man, because most of the artists that, you know, came out of Florida came from Slip and Slide, and mm -hmm. I grew up on all of them, you know what I'm saying? So for me to just fit right in, it, it was a blessing at the end of the day. Like I said, at the end of the day, you just still got to put that work in. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? You still got to lay low. You got to still prove, prove your point and, 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 and show the proof in the pudding. But, Man, it's, it's a good situation for me. I can't speak for everybody else, but for me, like I say, it's, it's a, I'm a priority over there. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So, like I say, it, it's been good, man. It's yeah. been good. I dig it, man. Um, you're saying this is the hottest album in the South right now. The hottest. Talk about that, man. It look like fans <laughs> eating this shit up, bro. For real, like, man, three weeks, we just hit three weeks, seven million streams. Hmm. You know, that just on Spotify. You know Yeah, that's just saying? one platform, right? One platform, you know what I'm saying? So. I'm popping my shit lightly, you feel <laughs> what I'm saying? But nah, man, we got Boosie on there. We got uh, Jack Boy on there. Uh, we is having on there. Bobby Fish Scale, Trigger 500K. So it's just, man, it, it, it's 
It really feel like a group effort on their yeah. project. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is something I feel like the streets been waiting on. I speak of that a lot on some good music. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I dropped one of them classics. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna be able to play this shit years to come. You know what I'm saying? And, and that was my thing. I think that's why it really took so long. Cause I didn't want to drop no, you know how some people they drop 10, 12 tracks and then these are fillers. Mm. These are singles. Like, no, I want that bitch <laughs> to be like Future. That bitch jumping from the top to the bottom is straight singles. Like, that's how it was formatted. Like, I was like, man, they ain't got to have no substance. Like, the Ruckers themselves, they gonna have their own substance. Yeah. Each one, like, I just need hits on that motherfucker. So, I'm just glad how it came together, man. Like I said, it's the hottest shit in the South right now. Please mm. believe it. Man, and you didn't even mention prime time. Dion Sanders oh, yeah. on the Shout intro. Shout out to Coach, man. <laughs> Shout out to Coach, man. Yo, I got, I got definitely, definitely, man. That, that was super disrespectful on my behalf, man. Shout out to Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, man. You one of the realest that's in the game, that's in the industry, like that's in this whole, this football business, everything. But you meant so much more coming to, coming from, uh, coming from Florida, dog. Like I said, we, we seen you come from here to there. Like you came through FSU, you went to school oh, through yeah. Tallahassee. So like I said, that. Motivated me super crazy, but yeah, man, we got Dion Dion Sanders on the intro for sure. How'd for you sure. pull that off, or was that someone on the team that kind of made nah, that? Nah, that happen? was through me. Okay. Um, his son do music, and yep. he shoot music videos. Mm -hmm. And um, like two years ago, shout out to AZ. Uh, um, he had an event down there in Miami, and I just long story short, I locked in with his son, and like every blue moon, I text him on. I go on his page, support him. Like, I'm, I'm one of them types. You feel what I'm saying? Once I lock in with you, it's past the, the music. I'm trying to really build a relationship. Mm -hmm. So, probably like a year I've had them past or whatever. And I reached out to his dad. Like, I did uh, Coach Prime the same thing. Like, I just support him. Just support him. And I just happened to reach out. Coach, I got a project coming up. It's called Coach of Florida. Man, I appreciate you what you, you know what I'm saying, what you doing and what you been did. Like I said, especially coming from Florida, Black J, Black J. Hit me back that same day. What oh, you need? Shit. What you need me to say? I like hell yeah. <laughs> sent sent it over. <laughs> sent it over to him. And the funny thing about it, he had no sent it back. I sent my phone number and everything. He had no sent it by probably about three weeks. Had no went by. Hmm. I hit him up. It was matter of fact, the uh, two days before my project was due. Oh shit. I hit him up. I'm like coach. How, how you going there? It was on a Sunday too. I was like, how you going uh, Sunday? Woo, 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 woo. Um, I was just checking back. Was you able to get the, get the, uh, you know, get the, um, the drop done for me? And uh, I been sent that to you, man. I been sent that to you about two weeks ago to your phone. And sure enough, it was in my phone, like from two <laughs> weeks ago. I didn't even know you sent it to me. God so damn. I ended up getting it from him, like I say, man. And it came out, it came, that was the perfect intro. Man, that's legendary man, right what? there, man. It don't get no, it don't get, coach, come on, man. Don't get no more legendary <laughs> than that. So like I say, shout out to Deion Sanders, man. Real, recognized, real, for sure, for sure. Absolutely, man. Uh, talk about this top five record, man. <laughs> what can you tell us? What was the inspiration when you made this one? Man, man niggas know him in their top five, man. Like, um. I've been putting in work for a long ass time, Cole. Like a long ass time, man. This is what you see. This how I always move. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never been with no entourage. I ain't never had no fucking cosign. I ain't had nobody. Why I vouch for that boy? Like everything that you see up until this point, I got off the muscle. Strictly <laughs> off the muscle. And I feel like I go toe to toe with the biggest. I still got niggas call my phone to the day. Why I need a hookup out you? Like, for so and so, you know what I'm saying? For so and so, so it's just one of them ways of, and I always been humble, but I never really put that shit in a motherfucker face. So I had to put that shit on wax. You gotta man. do that sometimes, nah, right? Fact. You gotta and pop it. And, and the crazy thing about it, I ain't even got like no flat from it, no disrespect. It's like more so like, boy, I take my hat off to you. Like everything that you saying and that, like, boy, you right on point. Like I respect it because I seen it. You know what I'm saying? So. Like I said, that's, that's where top five came from. I just had to put that shit on wax for everybody. Yeah. Who would you put in your top five, Florida? We could do either all time or we could do right now. Uh, I'm going to do everybody. Okay. I'm going to get my top five overall. I got to say Ply for sure. Uh, Trick Daddy. Ross. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it gets tough right here, right? Yeah, these last two <laughs> spots. New, shout out my boy D Lo, man. My boy, boy, he going crazy. <laughs> my boy right got now. this shit in a choke right now, man. Shout out to my boy D Lo, but uh, D Lo definitely, definitely. I like how he moving too, for sure, for sure. 
a D-Lo number four. Number five, man, I got to give somebody from the city. I like what we is doing, man. Mm. Shout out to we is having. I like what that boy doing, for yeah. sure, for sure. I think that'd be my five. My That's a solid five. top five yeah. right there, man. I think that'd be my strong five. Yeah. And uh, do you have a challenge going on TikTok for this? I see you be like, you be getting these videos from the, uh, the truck guys. Yeah, man. Shout out to the truck community, the squatter truck community in, in particular. Yeah. Nah, they just rock with me, They just rock like, with it organically, like, huh? They adopted my ass, Carl. <laughs> like, literally, like, man, them, them boys love me, man. And every time I drop, they, fuck it. That's how I am from. Like, they run with it, you know what I'm saying? And, Quite frankly, that's how I get a head start a lot of people. Like, hmm. without the, the support of playlists, like that becomes, they literally my support system. And then it's like, the streets I already fuck with me, but it's just a matter of time when they catch on to it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And quite frankly, they are here from them boy, and that's how they catch on to my music. So oh. like on TikTok, man, TikTok, like, I feel like my top platform, cause I'm able to really be myself on there. I ain't got the, come dressed down, you know what I'm saying? They ain't got to have on the fly shit or, 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 or you know, move in a certain way because Instagram, they algorithm will block a lot of that shit if it don't look a certain way. Like TikTok, man, you come on that bit, I'm fresh up. <laughs> Mouth stankled in a motherfucker, you heard me? I'm jumping right on TikTok. Three or four hundred people on the live, you know what I'm saying? So, but now, nah, man, I, I I do challenges sometimes, you know, the, the definitely rock one. But once I throw a rock at it, like, no. my TikTok gravitate to it fast, super fast. Nah, that's what's good, man. Uh, motion going crazy, man. Right now, bro. I'd be, I ain't even think it was gonna go this. I knew it was a banger, but I didn't think it was gonna take the way that it's taking right hmm. now. Like motion going, it's going nuts right now, for sure, for sure. Did you and Trigger get in the studio together for that, or is that something you just sent over to him? Nah, I sent it over to him. Okay. Yeah, Trigger, Trigger, Trigger gave me a Weezy verse, man. My boy, <laughs> my boy jumped in the booth and snapped. Wait, 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 wait. We got to rewind on that question from the top five. Okay. It got to be a tie now, cause Trigger in there. <laughs> Weezy and Trigger, they, they, they a tie. I'm from man for Trigger. That, that my, that my water, like. I like what that boy standing for. And he from the North End too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know what I'm saying? He from North Florida too. So nah, Trig in there too for sure, for sure. Yeah. And Motion is a, a remake of one of the apply songs. Yep, yep. Was that your idea or was that something the producer had just brought to nah, you? Nah, that was my idea. I okay. sent it to my producer. I was like, man, I need I need you to flip this. Like yeah. for real, for real. I ain't know how I was gonna attack it though, but I need it, but he flipped it perfectly. Shout out to Broke Boy. Nah, that shit going crazy right Appreciate now, man. It. Yeah. So talk about the uh, you know, the one with Jack Boy, man, that's lately. Oh, yo, yo, shout out to Jack, man. Shout out to Ms. Z. Nah, uh, lately, Jack a real one, man. Like, Jack a real one, like a real deal one. It's, that's a funny story how that came about, too. Like, I hit Jack on some shit, like, whatever you got going on, ain't got no parts of it, I'm here to handle business. Like, I want to create some good music from with you. And that's exactly how the, the, the first message I sent to him, he wrote back, let's get it, whoa. Huh. I'm on that type of time, let's get it. And we ain't, bro, we been straight music, and he dropped game on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, do this. Stop doing that right here. Do this. I call him right now. He, he'll probably damn near 9 out of 10 pick up. You feel what I'm saying? Like, he came to the video shoot. I sent him a record. He sent it right back. Hmm. Man, I need you at the video shoot. What day? What time? All right, I'm pulling up. No problem, no question. Man, he was at the video shoot longer than me. <laughs> like, I had that dope. You feel know, He was still there with, with a couple of my partners that was still in town. You know what I'm saying? So, JB a real one, though, man. But lately, lately, one of the ones. Like, Man's loving that man, shit, too, what? man. Lately, I've been feeling like Funkin' Nigga. Come on, man. Like, lately. And I gave, and, and Jack gave me one of them real verses. Like that's that old Jack boy. That ain't that ain't that. I don't know. That ain't that. I don't. I, don't, I think Jack gave me one of them verses. Like, I, I got to get in the booth and shake some on this uh, bitch here. Like he gave me a real deal verse, man. Shout out to JB for sure, for sure. Yeah. And yeah, talk about that ask around you and Wiz then. How did that one come about? Oh, being in the city, man. Um, and Wiz, Wiz, I ain't gonna say a lot, but he he younger than me, so. I kind of got on through Wiz, like my little cousin, them and little partners that's moving around in the city. And um, started hearing his name in Orlando. So I'm like, I'm like, who that Wiz nigga is? So went back home, 
And they were like, man, we are probably like the hottest one that's in the city. So end up reaching out to him. It took a little minute to get in touch with that motherfucker. But why? <laughs> God damn. I had to hit up like every damn contact to get in touch with weird. But now, we finally met up and everything. Pulled up, Dolo pulled up to the, you know, to the studio. We did that one together. Okay. Pulled up to the studio. We didn't say, we didn't say, because I had stepped out to smoke real quick. And he told, I guess he told one of my partners, he said, I'm finna, I'm finna shot this nigga. I'm gonna have the verse done before you get back in. I was gone about five minutes, literally about five minutes. Came back, he just laughing in the studio. I'm like, you done? He thought I went in there, slid that bitch, you feel me? With y'all here, that's where he laid, you feel me? So shout out to Wiz, man. Wiz another one, another real one. I call on the, you know, on the regular D, even just on some checkup shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we both from the city putting on right now, so definitely, but. Nah, ask around. That's a classic record, though. Oh, yeah. Now, that's that one gonna be around man. for a little minute. And the crazy thing is, shout out to him, Beezy. Y'all probably never heard of him, but he a big artist that was from the city as well. So when I say, I don't know if people from the city caught on to it, but when I say, ask your mama, your daddy, your uncle, your auntie, that's from him. Hmm. So, and a lot of people don't know. Like I say, I learned the business coming up. I hit him up. Uh, I want to put you on paperwork, hey go your percentage for your, so when you gonna look up, ask around that third name, that's him. Oh shit. And just for, ask your mama, your daddy, your auntie, just that part, you feel what I'm saying? I reached out to him and he respected it. You feel me, he was like, boy, a lot of people don't do that. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? He was like, I had to go through that on the way coming up and shit like that, mm. but he was like, he took his hat off to it, you feel me? So, nah, that's how ask around came about. For now sure, that's for love sure. for you to reach out and you nah, know. Fact, fact. Make sure I wanna you, uh, make sure you know, get some when they come up, they do this, shit. you know yeah. what I'm saying? They do the same thing, but a lot of people I feel too don't know about that. Hmm. You know, that you got to go handle the business and you know what I'm saying, they make sure the other person straight and you got someone that you be like, man, I don't want shit. Like I don't want no percent. I don't even want my name on that mug. Thank you for just letting me know. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Type shit. But nah, that's how Ask Around came about. Okay. So talk about this certified record, man. You and the OG. <laughs> Now, man, by two years straight, I only heard two names to do a feature with. Now, Ply and Boosie. But I don't know what the fuck it is. I can't get with. I can't get a touch with Ply for for, for shit. You feel me? I don't know what the fuck it is, man. But uh, Boosie, I heard that day in day out. Do a record with Boosie. 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 So finally got to the record, and my team handled that. They put that together, and man, that, that shit came out flawless, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's another classic. Boo gave me a real damn verse, you feel what I'm saying? Like, Boo said got on certified and popped that shit. <laughs> well, I'm talking about lay down the whole city, bitch, I'm certified, you heard me? So, like I said, like, Boo, and I think Florida and Louisiana, like I tell people all the time, Florida and Louisiana cousins, bro. Like. I lingo how we talk, like the way that we say shit, the words that, you know what I'm saying, woo the woo, like we down there, it's like a family thing, so like the ruckle just came together flawless, and shout out to Squat, Squat on the beat as well, so like I say, man, it, it's certified, it is what it is, that's a certified banger, like yeah. for sure, for sure. Nah, he slid on that shit, man, for sure. Man, went nuts on that <laughs> motherfucker, man, I about went in there and like, hold up, let me touch up my verse real quick or add a new one, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Then you got Bobby Fiscale on the yeah. Lick record, man. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Bobby, man. Shout out to Bobby. And Bobby a Golden Florida, too. Like, Bobby bought all, all this goddamn shiny shit. Man, Bobby brought all that shit back, man. I'll give for what nobody see. Bobby Fiscale, man. Shout out to Bobby. But now, nah, quick story about Bobby coming up in the city. And another thing, that's a different age group. You feel what I'm saying? But, like, you see me. That's how I seen Bobby, like if Bobby and Young, or Bobby and one of his other partners, but they was always dolo, but before every, this before, this like 2000, like what, 14, 15 type shit? Okay. Every show, like big artists, like them when Dolph was coming down, Plies came down, it was a lot of people, but we was opening up for them boys. And every show, boy, I see you doing your thing, boy, we got to get it, and it's crazy that now, we, you know what I'm saying, telling our stories and doing what the fuck we doing, but, Nah, man, the, the, the circle back and get Bobby on the rucker, man, that's, like I said, that's another classic, monumental moment. You feel what I'm saying? Like, this whole project, a classic. Yeah. Like, top the fucking bottom. It ain't nothing that you can, even from the drop, so that, I got Greg Street on that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you got a couple DJs You on feel there, me? Man. Like, Lil' Kid, like, man, DJ Jam, a lot of these 
big figures that played a lot of roles in a lot of these artists, you know, that we see today. Like, I went to go tap back into the roots of this shit. Like, yeah. But nah, Bobby Fishgill, like, that one in the one. That my boy, for sure, for sure. Tell, man. Um, what, what, what video's next? You got something already shot? You got something tucked away? Or what, what do you plan to shoot? Top five this? video on the way. Okay. Yeah, top five video on the way. I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to get leaked. Leak done. Okay. I think me and Bobby, that'd be like a Florida anthem. Hmm. Like how I want to pop it in that bitch. I mean, we bring the whole hood out. And we just had that shit on. I mean, we had that bitch just floss the fuck up. You feel me? This a lick on me. You know So I think that's like the next video that I want to go tackle before I start going into, you know, new music and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, top five on the way. And then, like I said, yeah, Leak, Leak could be the next one. Nah, can't wait to see that top five. Nah, fact. Top yeah. five can be crazy. Yeah. Uh, deluxe, or are you just on the next one after this? Deluxe. I'm thinking about doing a deluxe. Okay. Definitely thinking about doing a deluxe. But um, I'm going. I ain't gonna have that many features though. Hmm. Now I feel like I got to show motherfuckers again <laughs> that I can do this shit by myself. And then the crazy thing is, like, the label was really down my back about doing features. I don't. I ain't no feature. I ain't no feature. I ain't no feature, nigga. I don't need no extra. What up, what up, I don't know what a motherfucker be got going on, what they be doing, you know what I'm saying, shit like that, but probably about a year ago, they were like, I need you to start. And it came to a point where every week they was asking my ass. I was like, all right, I just finally gave in, and Wiz was the first one, you okay. feel me? So it, it grew from there, but now nah, the, the looks, I'm probably gonna have probably about one or two features on there, but the rest of them, I'm getting right back silly on the head. Like, it's time to get back to the concrete cut, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I'm thinking about a deluxe though, for sure, for sure. Okay, okay. Uh, so let, let's talk about the TikTok, man. Over half a million followers. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about building that shit up, man. <laughs> Cause that ain't no easy task right there. Nah, nah, nah. Um, it really started to click during COVID. I started doing these drink videos, making these crazy ass motherfucking drinks and talking about like- With the big cup and yeah, all that. Yeah, with the big yeah, ass cups and shit. shit. And, um, I started uh, doing like Florida rules. It was basically what goes on in Florida type shit, but it was so, the way that I was saying it and express it, it was just typical hood shit. So it was like an Atlanta person or a person from North Carolina or Wisconsin, I don't even know where the fuck that at, but <laughs> a motherfucker went Wisconsin, they would hear that shit or pop up on the algorithm, they'd be like, hold up. Nah, that shit only don't go on in Florida. That shit happening. And that's where the ties started mm. coming in and that. So that's where it started rapidly growing. And then I just started getting smart with it. Like a video that go viral, I follow up with the music. And then it started becoming, oh, he do music too. Mm. Then it started becoming, oh, that's what he, he a rapper. <laughs> and then, oh, he a funny rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like you give him so it was just, it was just more so on the lines of that. And then, like I say, like, the streets definitely fuck with it because I'm saying shit that goes on in the hood. Like this shit that go on in the project. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So that's where the TikTok thing really came about. And really, like I said, it just opened a different lane of revenue for me and a different lane of exposure for me. Oh, yeah. Like I said, when I need something to go up, I'm dropping something, I drop one of them videos, I'm, I'm instantly in the mix. Like for instance, I was just telling my manager the other day, I said, man, I got to find a way to tap into Atlanta. And uh, cause Atlanta my number one music spot. Like on all my platforms, like Atlanta's the number one spot with my music being played. But I feel like they don't know me as a person. And I dropped one of them cult videos. <laughs> Atlanta went viral. You feel me? So I said, that's how I'm attacking. But then I follow right back up with the music. So, oh, this who route? Oh, this, oh, this the same motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like at the end of the day, like that TikTok opened a whole different lane it's, it's my advertisement. I yeah. use it as my bullet board. You feel what I'm saying? So it opened a whole different lane for me, for sure, for sure. Absolutely, because, yeah, it exposes you to new fans, and then a your lot. fans of the music tap in and be like, oh, shit, I fuck with this person yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what really make them diehard fans, and that's, too. Bingo. And that's where I got, I feel like I got the support system that I do. They feel like they know me. You feel what I'm saying? I'm approachable, and they feel like they know me. So, but we know Tallahassee's gonna be your number one Florida city. Oh, not nah, fact. Give us top five Florida cities after Tallahassee then. Top five Florida cities out of Tallahassee. Tampa, for sure. <laughs> Tampa is like the country and the city 
put together, though. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is about motherfucking Temple. Temple is like the country and the city put together. You're going to get that bougie shit, and you're going to get that cabbage and, and cornbread shit. You feel me? Uh, number two. I mean, number three. That'd be number three. I say Orlando. You gonna hang out good in the O. Like, <laughs> oh, you gonna find every summer everything. You gonna Hispanics, Mexican, Chinese, whatever the fuck that it is. Like Orlando, that spot where you you wanna take the family, you wanna go on, you know, just a little good little vacation. Um, four. I have to say Miami. Hmm. Miami, you you gonna hang out. You gonna get in trouble in Miami. <laughs> like. You got a whole stay your ass home, nigga. Okay, you you gonna get into some shit in Miami. In Miami, you gotta have some motherfucking money. Oh, you yeah. Ain't got no yeah, if you're on money, South Beach, man, forget about it. You ain't got no money. Man, the gas, you seen the gas prices? <laughs> gas prices got down now $10. I'm like, bitch, what the? You a hip in the scalp. That's all you get on goddamn South Beach. But you gotta be rich to live in Miami. And I say number five. Number five probably have to be. Doofall. Hmm. Like Jacksonville. You gotta be careful of Jacksonville. Jacksonville the only spot that I know, Cole. The only spot that I know. They'll look you square in your face say, What the fuck, nigga? And me and, and, and don't mean no harm by it. You feel me? They that just the type of city that it is. But if Jacksonville fuck with you, they fuck with you. But if they don't fuck with you, they gonna let that shit be known. Shout out to Jacksonville, man. <laughs> Duval! That's a solid top five there, man. Bad, bad. What about underrated, like, cities or even these small towns in Florida that you really fuck with? Small cities as in Florida. Man, I just went through Palaco for the first time. Where the hell is Palaco? Man. <laughs> man. That must I be, ain't even know That must be in the panhandle, because I, I ain't never heard of that pan, it's, okay. it's like, well, it's weird, though, because it's like in the panhandle, and it's like... It's in between the Panhandle and Central Florida. Okay. So it's like right there, but man, Palaco, some motherfucking <laughs> country, man, man. But I, I fuck with Palaco, dog. It's one of them cities where, but I feel like it's one of them cities where you go through that motherfucker, everybody gonna pop out. You feel me? It's one of them cities with some shit going on, everybody popping out. You feel what I'm saying? Like Palaco, Palaco, one of them cities. Shout out to Palaco. Um, I have to say, uh, Titusville. Okay. Titusville, another little small little county. They get down through there. Coco. Uh, shout out to Coco. Oh, and another one I probably have to say, uh, Polk County. I have to say Polk County. Well, just man. a little whole county. Yeah, the right? whole the whole county. I fought with Polk, man. Right outside the town. I fought with Polk. Polk. I fought with Polk the long way. Man, go down man. to Polk, man. Man, Polk, Polk, it, it get loud. I ain't gonna count where I feel it through my feet when I talk about <laughs> Polk. Where Polk be lit, man. Anywhere near Temple, down there by Temple, it's guaranteed you 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 gonna turn up. Like it's like I said, it's the country and the city. It's yeah. like the perfect mix, though. It's, it's whatever. It's, it's, it's whatever down there in Temple for sure, for sure. They getting some money in Polk. I know Man, that for a fact. It's so much money. I was just saying that the other day. I said, bro, if you one of the ones, you know what the hell you doing, bro? It's some money in Temple, though. It's some fucking money. Temple, Polk County, that whole area. Mm -hmm. It's some money through there. Real shit. Uh, what's your thoughts on the music scene in Tallahassee right now today? And how does it compare to two years ago when you last sat on the boards, man? Man, Tyler has on fucking fire. Real shit. Like, man, the whole, every side, too. Like, the whole city is on fire. But that's the thing, like, when I came in, Bible was locked up. Hmm. So it was at the time, it was T-Pain, long ass script. <laughs> yeah, that's a big long gap, right? Script. Like, a lot of people don't know, like, I was the first one since T-Pain that got signed from Tyler. You feel what I'm saying? And when I came, it wasn't really nobody else, like, really, you know what I'm saying, going crazy. Besides, like, Bible probably, like, that I know of, Bible probably, like, the other big name one. But Bible was locked up. So when Bible came home, that was probably, like, a year or two after I had them got, so I had them got out of my first situation. I had them went back independent. And this was right before the 2020. Okay. And when Bible came home, or well, gone, like he just opened the door. You feel what I'm saying? And then after that, who was it? Oh, uh, Lil Tyler, I think. Then you had Boston. Then mm -hmm. you had Wiz. And, and shit, just so, you know, for one, but it's like, I'm coming right back in the mix again. You feel what I'm saying? So it feel like this is a fresh start for me, too. You feel what I'm saying? Like, again, like, because at, at the time of it, 
this the first project that I actually had full control of hmm. that I put together. And like when I turned it in, it was like, well, they just changed this right here. And I was like, okay, that's cool. But it was like, this what you, you getting tight out of this project. But <laughs> man, Tallahassee on fucking fire. Like everybody doing their goddamn thing though. Yeah. Everybody. And then the crazy thing is, we got every age group on lock. Hmm. Like it ain't just like a bunch of old niggas or a bunch of finna be old ass niggas. Like we, we got all of us, you feel what I'm saying? Like. From from OG on down, you feel me? So it's like, man, we Tallahassee, that hot spot, and I don't think nobody fucking with us like at all. I'm not, I, I put that. I love Florida, but when they pinpoint this shit, it ain't nobody fucking with Tallahassee right now oh. at all. So that, that's a good segue. Top five music scenes nah, in Florida right <laughs> top now. Top five, nah, fair. We definitely top five. We yeah. we bit one right well, nah, now. give us your top five. Yeah, Tallahassee top, number one, there. Yeah, Tallahassee number one. Oh. Uh, Shit. I know it's tough. Lot because of well, Lot once of you get out of Tallahassee, it's like it kind of like, it breaks down because it's like it's like an artist popping out of a region. Mm -hmm. Like Tallahassee, I feel like we the only one that really got all the motherfuckers right there. Like, because then you got, okay, you got Duval. They got some lit shit over there. There's a lot of they had that don't, that don't came out of them over mm -hmm. the years and still popping. Um, I say them two. Um, three. Broward. Broward, yeah. Yeah, Broward be kicking them out. Um, four, like that St. Pete Tampa area. Like that, that, that side. Four. And then five, I give it to, I give it to Orlando. But everybody down there that's in the O right now locked up down there. Oh, shit. That's popping from, you know, no, that was true, that, yeah. you know, that had name that was popping. Everybody down there locked up right now. Hmm. So it's like, Oh, they kind of, the old kind of looking, I feel like, like, it's about to be one that emerged from out of there. Shout out to my boy Trophy Banks. Yeah. He on the way. He on the way. Yo, he on the way for sure, for sure. Fort Myers got some heat right now, too, man. Oh, yeah. For, I've been, now nah, I've been tuned into them. That two, because they got a page called 239 Takeover. Shout oh, out real? to AG Lottie. Yeah, huh. that's him in his camp. But yeah, the Fort Lottie, well, you said Fort Lottie or Fort Myers? Fort Myers. Yeah, Fort, yeah, Myers, Fort Myers. Yeah, Fort Myers yeah. got a, they got some shit coming mm -hmm. out of there right now. I ain't going to count. I ain't gonna count. I've been tuned in today, yo. They showcases and stuff. They got some shit coming out of there. Shout out to C Stoner too. Oh yeah, C Stoner yep. from out of there too. Yep. Well, I just sure. had him on the porch and Flizzle too, man. Well, yeah, yeah, me and Spliff. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, what's some advice you would share to the youth coming up right now today? Man, uh, get in where you fit in, though. Like it, it's simple as that, man. Don't try to overdo, do too much. Be something that you ain't. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we at this time right now. It's a learning age. Like, I feel like this internet is, is just a new wave. You feel what I'm saying? More so than the shit that we had, to, my age group had to go through coming up. We had to, it was either the streets, go to school. That was pretty much the, the two. You feel what I'm saying? But now it's like, bro, you can literally sit in your damn bed by a camera and just record you doing what you do every fucking day and make money from it. Oh, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you ain't really got to go work no nine to five, like they, how they try to pressure a motherfucker, but at the end of the day, you got to put in work. You feel what I'm saying, too? So anything I say, man, just get in where you fit in, don't Be smart at this shit. Um, safety first. You got to make it back home to your family, too. So be safe and just do your diligence, dog. Like I said, I, I was glad I was one of them ones that uh, I did the right business. You know, uh, I created the right relationships. I stayed out of the fuck shit. You feel me what I'm saying? So if anything that you do those three things, I think you'll be pretty good, though. And, and your hustle, that's gonna be, that's the biggest thing. That's what's gonna make or break you. You got to have some hustle out here. If you ain't got no hustle, you might as well stay where the fuck you at. Nah, real shit, man. man. Uh, so what's next? Deluxe, what else are we working on right now, Ty? Uh, Deluxe, and I'm just trying to tap in with some bigger artists, man. I'm just looking right now. How can I grow, though? I'm here, how can I get here? I ain't trying to do this. I'm tired of pivoting. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to see how I can get here to him the quickest, the safest, and the smartest. You feel what I'm saying? I think those are my next moves. And eventually I want to walk into my own label, signing artists, but I want to do this shit differently. Like, I feel like a lot of these CEOs, that CEOs now, man, they signing artists, but y'all running them through the same camp that y'all came in on. The same bullshit that y'all been they they fucking playing with me, bro. They woo the woo, woo. It's like y'all doing the same shit.
but y'all just a little bit older now, but y'all running them through the same system. And I feel like, man, I want to really start a label where you get back to the hands-on shit. You get back to, all right, it's gonna, he going to fuck up or she going to fuck up 10 times. Okay, cool. That's part of this fucking investment. And I feel like labels ain't taking that time to do that shit no more. It's like one shot. Oh, yeah. You fuck that up. We're going to the next one. You feel what I'm saying? And, and I feel like, bro, you, 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 you got a diamond in the, in the rough, but dirt got on it one time, and you just start kicking more dirt on it. Yeah. And then forgot about it. Now you trying to go look for a motherfucker. They ain't got all the specs. They ain't got all the, you know what I'm saying, the woo but you can create something, but it be for a short little period of time. And it keep going on like that. You be like, damn, why well, ain't really got no stuff? No, well, I can just run this one order, he be the biggest thing, woo woo, and a lot, I feel like a lot of labels got that, but of that sole purpose. You yeah, feel that, what I'm saying? Artist wanted, development is a artist, missing man, thing these days. Come on, man. Bro. You got an artist that's willing to listen, and he see your vision, and you see his vision. And you, that's a beautiful thing, though, because when y'all get to that that final portrait, and when that motherfucker done, man, ain't gonna be shit. Nobody can say, nobody can do, nobody can. T- they throw as much dirt on that motherfucker, it's gonna slide clean off. That's when all the paper, the money, the revenue, whatever the fuck that y'all been working for, that's what is gonna happen. And that's what y'all motherfuckers finna see with me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I fuck with that too, man. Yeah. Uh, you got any shout outs you like to get before you wrap it up your tight? Uh, shout out to the count, man. Shout out to the count. Slip and slide the mall, you know what I'm saying? Uh, big folded label on the way. Shout out to the whole Florida, man. Y'all know I've been holding this shit down forever, forever. And I'm gonna continue to hold it down forever, forever, man. Let's get it. Shout out to off the porch. Yeah. Be a four tight. Uh, four nine to five. We'd rather beat the block. Face card good. Streets on lock.